This is a video on a hypothesis test for a mean. The question states, the hardy grain cereal box says that its weight is 18 ounces. You suspect that the mean weight of this brand cereal is smaller. Use the following data with alpha equals 0 0.05 to test your claim. So here's the data. And we want to find first a null hypothesis. The company claims that its weight is 18 ounces. So our null hypothesis is that the population mean cereal box weight is equal to 18, or mu equals 18. We suspect that the mean weight is smaller. So H1, the alternative hypothesis, is that mu is less than 18. So now let's go to the calculator and put in the data. So here's the calculator. To put in the data, I press STAT and then enter for edit. Let's clear L1. So I go up to L1, enter, and then clear. and then enter, and now I type in the data. So we have 17.4, enter, 17.1, enter, and then I put in all the rest of the data. Okay, and then the last two are 17.6, enter, and 17.8. Okay, now that I have all the data entered, I go to STAT again because I want a hypothesis test. And then I go to TESTS. I need a t-test because we don't know the population standard deviation, and we're testing for a mean. So I go to t-test, hit enter. We've inputted data, so I'm going to use the left arrow to go to data. Hit enter. Mu naught comes from the null hypothesis, and that was that mu was equal to 18. So I type in 18. Enter. L1 is fine because we put this data into list 1. Frequency is 1. Our hypothesis test is a left tailed test because of the word less than. So we go to less than mu naught and hit enter. And then I go down to calculate and hit enter. And there's our test statistic. T is equal to negative 2.30 about. Our p-value is about 0 0.017. X-bar was 17.7 or so. And just to check, our sample size is 17. There are 17 numbers here. And here's a standard deviation, 0.5. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so the calculator gave us that the sample mean was 17.7, the test statistic t was negative 2.30, and the p-value was z about 0 0.017. So I'm going to use the method of p-values to test my claim. The alpha is 0 0.05, our p is 0 0.017, which is less than 0 0.05. And if p is less than alpha, then that means we reject the null hypothesis. So I'm ready to state my conclusion. I can conclude that we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis and state that there is statistically significant evidence to support the claim that the mean weight 
of all hardy grain cereal boxes is less than 18 ounces. And I'm done with the problem.